been a picture too. Morning. Morning. Dalton, what's happening? Feel fresh in the house. Happy Halloween if anyone uh, celebrates it here. Episode 41, we feel afresh. 313. My co host, Annie's in the house. Hold on. Uh, I'll get you to join in in a sec. Hold on. I forgot to get something done out. <clears throat> You drink, buddy. All right, what's that? What's going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome. Whenever you're ready, man, if you want, request to join in, or I'll just I'll tap on your name. Let me know. I'm sweating. I'm hot. You hot? It's a bit hot, isn't it? It's, it's probably it's probably because I just had a shower. That's why. I'm going to Boss Hoss, what's happening? And thirst, Rock Lord, thirty nine. Tomorrow it's gonna be seventeen. Welcome. Tomorrow seventeen. And yes, and then on Monday Tuesday. it's gonna be yeah. twenty twenty four. Melbourne so Cup we, weekend, that, I think. Uh, can we have can we have the pull up on Monday because it's gonna be twenty four as well? Or well, maybe I'll set it up on Monday. I don't know. I'll see. And Tuesday. And Tuesday. Yes, Tuesday. Yes, yes. Yes. So <laughs> fill it fresh whenever you're ready, man. Jump in. We'll get it rolling. Are you ready? You're okay. Jump in, brother. Uh, let's see. Are you gonna? Do you want me to tap on yours? I'll tap on yours. I'll tap on your name. Uh. Oh no, I can't because you got to. All right. Can you find the request thing in the comments? 28 at Sunday, Tuesday, yes. Little one on the weather report, yes, that's right. <laughs> she knows. She's got an early Christmas present at the swim pool. Mm -hmm. my with the roof on, over on it. Tuesday. For the sun Remember protection. And my friend swim on a Tuesday. Yes, you're going to swim on a Tuesday. And we give her an early Christmas present as well. Yes, and it's Halloween today here. Um, where is it? Okay, why well, let me touch on your Daddy. name? Yeah. Hide, feel the fresh from. No, I want to. Uh, whenever you're ready, request to join. Ah, oh, here we go. Hold on. You waved it. What if I press here? There's nothing that. Hold on. I don't know what's going on. It's not even doing it. It's not even doing it. Uh, I don't know what's going on. No, I don't want to hide him from the video. Uh, is it letting you join? What's going on? Can I have a, can I, can you, I'm putting the pool on Monday so that I can swim. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how hard it is. Can I be 24? 25. Stealth's in the house. Just waiting on Phil Fresh to join in. Before he does, uh, I'm going to send a shout out to a young, young bloke named Raymond. Uh, he's got his own brand. He supports the show. I support his brand. Uh, there's a sticker. I've got a bunch of stickers. But I've got this. This is one of the best t-shirts I've ever seen uh, in my life. If you're either from the outer east, notice I said outer east, or western suburbs, you will enjoy this shirt. So, you got the Raymonds on the front. 
And you got the VL Turbo on the back, Canary Yellow. You know what I mean? That's the toughest. And these are dropping, I think, this weekend or, or, or sometime. Go check out his website or his Instagram, Raymond's Instagram. You know what I'm saying? What's up, Danny? What's up, Juanito? How good's that? What a t-shirt. Um, one of the best shirts I've ever seen in my life. When he showed me the picture, I, I freaked out. A bit of VL turbots with the interceptors. I know what's happening. How you been? I'm alright, Stealth. I'm alright. I'm alright. I'm just waiting. Killer, true. How you going, man? It's been a while. Are you playing sports again? Are you, are you training again? On the footy or... That's a dope bit sick, isn't it, Stealth? I knew you'd like it. It's a mad t-shirt. It's a mad t-shirt. So get behind Raymond's. Get behind all the things. All the shouts to all the shops that opened again. And stuff. Yes, at Raymond's Co. That's the one. Feel fresh? Is he ready? What's going down? How can he... Fine. It's not letting me... It's not letting me do it from my end. You're going to have to try and request to join in, man. Feel the fresh joined. Yeah. You're going to have to try and request. My brother. While you're doing that, my man Eddie, AZ, and uh, son Marcus. Now, years ago... As I bought a pair of Jordans, gave them to Marcus. He's got a big foot. They're big for me, but I wore them yesterday. They're sick. Uh, I'll read a letter because he was going to send them, but then the restrictions stopped. So, um, but whenever you're ready, spurt low, what's happening, man? All right, this is the letter. Hospa, a little gift. For you, my brother. The military blue fours were given to Marcus from AZ, which is Aaron, my man Mapstone, in the house. Phil, what's up? Years ago, so thanks to him. Marcus only wore them once, so they are in great condition, and yes, yes, they are. The Concords are for Annie, uh, also only worn once. Uh, she can grow into them. Glad to see these are going. Uh, to someone who will appreciate them as they are just gathering dust here. My man Eddie's... Oh, here we go. I will continue this uh, while I'm waiting for... Fresh. Uh, congratulations on the success of Issues, bro. Keep killing it. All the best. Eddie and Marcus. Thank you very much. A oh, little bit dark. How you going, man? Hold up. How man? That's all good, man. All good. I'm doing the wave. Oh, this was blocked. Oh, I got it on. Uh... You, you, you got to reverse it. There we go. Turn it on. How you I doing? was on my tablet trying to hop on, but it wouldn't let me. So I had to get on my damn cell. It's going to be a lot shorter. Doesn't matter. I, oh, I do it on my phone. I don't do it on a Oh, phone. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes out all right like that. Uh, yeah, how you doing, my man? What's up, my brother? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, for all my viewers who don't know who you are, um, uh, you know, introduce yourself and uh, tell, them, tell them what you're about, bro. Well, I go by Fresh 313 for anybody on IG, and um, that's, that's all it is, is just, you know, I rock with Fila, and that's pretty much an exclusive for that. Yeah. Um, it's all I hold down, unfortunately. I mean, it's a lot of brands out there that I enjoy, but I don't get in, caught in the hype in the rigmarole, so I just yeah. roll with one. Yeah, feel a feel a fresh man. Feel well, feel a, man. It's such an iconic, iconic brand. You know what I mean? Like, uh, it, it's 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 yeah, it's crazy because in, in in Europe, you know, all those brands that were made fashionable by the football hooligans. And then the, in the U.S., it was, you know, the breakers, the B-boys, you know, and the D-boys. You know what I mean? Like, they, you know, you had to be, like Kelly Vegas would say, you had to be someone 
to rock feeler back it's in the true the blue suits and stuff like that you know what i mean and uh i understand that's how you got into it watching watching the dudes because you grew up in detroit originally yes it's true so you know and you know like you just mentioned cali that's my man and uh I love hearing his uh, total broad spectrum on many brands, as we both know. Yeah. And um, he always refers to tennis and sports. And when I was coming up, we didn't have no damn tennis courts around there and see cats rocking it on there or even watching it on TV. So mine yeah. was a different perspective because I got to see – cats out in the street rocking it. So, and again, like you said, most of those guys, you know, of course they was out living that life. So if they had it on head to toe, you know, they was getting money. And exactly. I, I think I'm caught, I'm caught in yesteryear because um, that's what I re refer to. As you see, when I throw it on, it's head to toe. And uh, back then, unfortunately, it wasn't a lot of times where I, growing up i can afford it so now it's just i'm in a different tax bracket you feel me so yeah i get yeah. whatever i want but yeah you know it's just they made a lot of quality stuff back then but unfortunately now today they it's not always that case i see my man kicks for life or death he from the d2 I, is he well I, I, he'll follow brother and i'll follow i'll follow i'll follow him back yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah, yeah. For sure. And, you know, just jumping off subject real quick. And, you know, that's why I was telling um, Black and Hop when I went on their show that, you know, many, many areas that I wouldn't lay foot on. You know, I know. Look, look at you and me. We just met and now we rocking with each other. You over in Melbourne. Yeah, so nice. it, it's been a. A, a way that I can reach out to people that I probably wouldn't even never had contact with, yes, you know, right. uh, different cats from Japan and all over the world. And I've been able to just all in the love of the brand. So it's, yeah. it's true. Yeah. That's why even with this show, man, I've met from like, you know, like, I've known, like I've been friends with Kelly for a while and, uh, and through him, you know, I've met, you know, such cool people, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, I've known, and, and this, that's why I like, I like doing this show because it brings, you know, people out, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, right. uh, he actually messaged me the other day and he, he sent me uh, some things up and to get more, more women on the show as well, you know what I mean? I've only had like two females. Right, man. Yeah, but I don't know. You don't want no hurt feelings. You have to hook me up <laughs> with, with proper ones, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't, yeah, just, and, uh, you know, well, you gotta, he doesn't mess around with dickheads and stuff, you know what I mean? And and uh, so he's a no. few ideas, and then so you know we're going to get a few things lined up. But um, now let's get into it. My question, as you know, the show, the first I know the answer to this, but my viewers don't. What was the first shoe uh, that caught your eye as a kid? Like let's say no. fifth grade, you know what I mean? Like not early, you, you know, or well, maybe early or whatever. What was the first shoe? that um you know you seen and you were like wow i, I want to have that shoe you mean feeler wise or just Any, flat out matter. Matter. if it wasn't feeler it wasn't feeler. okay well see back then of course you know when you know all due respect to my mom she raised us the best she could and um it was a lot of times where back then is why i probably own so many damn shoes to this day um we had to go to the damn, it was a grocery store on Woodward and Glendale that had a bin where we would go in there and she like, find a pair that you can fit, you know, on a damn string. So, hell, I was trying to think of what actually caught my eye back then. I mean, because, you know, we wasn't in a position where we can get name brand stuff, you know, besides pro kids or some ish like that but um they used to have some patent leather adidas i don't know kicks for life or death on here he could probably tell me but they were patent leather i don't know if there were three quarter concords but man i think i was in the fifth grade and of course i couldn't afford them so i wanted to rock with them but back 
back home, it's a huge Adidas top 10 culture that's insane. You know yeah. TikTok. You can have him on, too. So. Well, he, he's, he's the, that's the reason why I... Because TikTok, you know, obviously what happened with him, you know, and now she has to TikTok and, uh, you know. Yeah, he's to my brother. You know, he's going to get situated, but when you have him on, that's going to be a treat, you know, for well, everybody. I was supposed to, and then, you know, the incident happened, and then, like, you know. Right, was, right. Well, so, and, uh, peace to our brother. He's going he gonna to get on, but, um, you know, shout oh, out he, to him. He goes, get these yeah. boys. No, he goes, you're going to hook up yeah. with these boys. That's a lot <laughs> Started messaging, you know what I mean, and then uh, yeah, I would have to say it was those patent leather Concords. I'm pretty sure they were three quarter. Had the strap. Yeah. Hey, peace, my man, Greg. What's up, G? Greg, so what's yeah, up? that 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 was probably the first pair, and they used to have some patent leather ponies. Ooh. I mean, they were they were cold. So yeah. those were probably. One of the two of the first where I was like, damn, I wish I could rock with him. But, of course, I ain't had a coin. But, you know, um, Callie posted a picture, too, of um, these Pumas that were insane. Uh, and back then, too, it was a huge B-boy thing. And some cats that I uh, mess with now, Chris from New York, he was big off in that graffiti B-boy and all that. It was those suede pumas, blue with the white stripes. Those go hard on any day. Oh, any, any day. You can walk, any, any time you can wear those. You know what I mean? Any it's time. True. Yeah, any time. So, so, yeah, those would probably be at the, the patent leather Concords. They were three-quarter with the strap in the front. They were just sick. Awesome. But that was the probably ones that I can remember that stood out back then that I would want to get. But didn't have the opportunity to of course so that's mad that's crazy man um now you yeah i'm married three kids three children is that right three girls no brother i'm a i'm a father seven times over i i put in work oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, on the phone, i got grown ass kids yeah 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 um so um and then so did you just meet in detroit and then move to las vegas like in the later years or well yeah my wife now we we met back in 98 so um yeah we have four in common so um me and her she was born and raised in the d and so was i and that's where i met her and all of our family still back home but you know i i started getting you know soft if you will because that damn cold weather it it gets below zero there and i, I wasn't dealing with that snow no more so yeah. it's time to pull up yeah, yeah, get out of there. See, it only gets like probably 35 now here at the lowest or in the mid-20s. But um, back there, it's below zero, man. And it, it's many a days where you waking up trying to shovel out your damn car to go to work and then go back in, warm up, go back out and have to redo it again. So wow. I wasn't playing the games. That's Not that I don't have any gear ready for any type of weather. I'm ready to rock it no yeah. matter. I'll embrace all yeah. elements. Well, that's what my, my partner said once, man, before. At least once uh, we want to have a, a, a go somewhere where it's Christmas and, and it's snowing. You know what I mean? Like Because here it's not. It's, it's boiling hot when it's Christmas here, you know, if the weather. Yeah. Like, Melbourne, like, you, can have, you can wake up in the day and it's hailing. And by 10 o'clock in the morning, it's like stopped. It's be windy. Then it's like getting humid. And then it'll be boiling by the night time. You know, like you, you get four seasons here in one day. Like it's it's insane, you know. See, back home, you can get four seasons. As well. But here, it's only two. It's either hot as hell or, or cooler months. Yeah. So from October to probably March, it's those cooler months. And then all the rest your ass is on fire so it get up to 114 out here man yeah. 120 some days so that's, that's hectic man maybe I, maybe before we hop off i don't know sometimes you do them quick 30 minutes an hour whatever but i'll show you some stuff and then oh, uh, yeah. i got some jackets and let's get it started let's get it let's get it happen let's start pulling out the fire oh boy even, where, I, where we go i purposely i seen you 
I was trying I was trying to join with my tablet, but it wouldn't let me request, so I had to kick that shit off and grab my cell right quick. Oh so good, man. But I seen you grab a bag, so if you want to start it off, I'm I'm ready. I just That's brought it. a rack full of stuff. <laughs> Later. I got, I got one. I don't know if you've seen this. I bought this for my partner years ago now, man. This is a woman's filler jumper. I think it's women's or, or, or I, don't, I, I think they just made them for women. But and it's got, have you ever seen one of these? And it's got the, it's got the filler. I, I just like the writing of it. You know what I mean? The lettering. It's just different, you know? And then it's got that just massive on the front. Yeah. See, the thing with the F box and, how many different phases they went through with the logo and the change and yeah just so on it's it's pretty crazy it, yeah it, i i like the old school f box yes of course but some of the older stuff is just and i'm a big fan yeah exactly yeah the white line the white line you can't get we can't beat the white line product man like you can't beat it See here, they don't have any stores that carry the white line. You ordering off the UK or '80s yeah. casual classics or some shit like that. But and yeah. other than that, you're not getting it here in the states anywhere. So, one thing that I'm drawn to the most is things with patches on it and the old school embroidery, yeah. because they just don't make them like that anymore. So, that's what a lot of my flavor is. Again, like I told Black and Hop, I'm caught in yesteryear because I mean, yeah. some of the stuff now i mean i'll rock with it but man they oh, make a lot of garbage too of course they do. and you know i I rock with them so yeah yeah i don't know what you want to see you want to see some uh vintage sport here yeah, let me grab something it's on you you have the stage see a lot of this stuff you don't oh, get any more with the leather patch on there. Oh yeah. On the back side, it's got the embroidered. Oh, that's sick. This is Fila Sport, so yeah. that's what I'm gonna start showing you a bunch of Fila Sport right quick. Because here's another one, fleece pullover. That's Ooh. pretty low key, but that's got that old school F right there. You see it? Yeah, yeah. That's good. I but like. the embroidery, that's what I, I dig the most, is when they have that yeah, embroidery hot. on the back. Or anywhere on it. Mm. I posted this the other day, but this is one of my favorites, so I'll show the viewers in case they didn't go on, go on my page and See, and Fila Sport has different branches of the sale tech and everything else. Yeah. So just some of this stuff. Nice little fleece. Pretty decent. This That's ice tech, too. Here's another one. Fila Sport with 3M on it. Oh, man. So this got a nice little... Hood. Oh, yeah. Very nice. But on the back... It's got the killer. Oh. See that ice tech? I love that big That's embroidered. Funny. Anything with the embroidery is is money for me. See, and it's funny too because a lot of cats will tell you that the old, you know, it's a huge low following. Mm. But I can't imagine if they had the same following with Feel uh, sport as they did with with polo sport, well, and the downhill. Just the colorway on this and that embroidery is is just silly. Yeah, that's crazy. That's all embroidered. I'm gonna try to make it quick, but I got a few. That colorway on there is pretty clean. Let's see. And to have something as old it is, it is, it is, from back in the early 2000s and 90s, I mean, look at the color on this, man. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. Super clean. You can't beat it. Here, I'm going to just show you a couple more of those. Then I'm going to just.
drop some fire. But again, I mean, I got tons of this Fila Sport stuff. I mean, I love the embroidered stuff. I, yeah, I, like that stuff. I always have been drawn to that. Orange colorway. Here, let me... Uh, I like the pullovers, too. The pullovers, silly. The old school ones. Uh, remember the members only where you used to be able to snap the whole jacket in your in your pouch and wrap it around your damn waist. The members only. I used to love those back in the day. That's on the inside of the pocket, so technically you can see it on the outside. But anything sport, this an old school feel of sport real quick. Nice. Now, the one thing that I like the most, and I ain't a real big collab guy, but Ducati, hands down, that's the favorite-ish that I got. Here, I'm going to show you, old boy. I seen somebody mention them in the comments, but I, I got a few print ads up there. How Can cool. you see them right there? Yeah, I see. Cormega. Yeah, that's man. the cat that, that made me want to get those Fila Ducati suits is because that guy right there oh, he's was ill guy. with it. Yeah, yeah, somebody mentioned it in there. And one of the comments uh, that he came out there and then all he wanted to do was go to the Fila store. Yeah, yes, yes, that's right. So the old school velour too, that's that's one of my, you just can't beat these patches, man, in this double work. Oh, and this is crazy. that velour stuff. So again, can't get away from that because the, Quality on it is nothing like. Ooh. See that old school when I sent you that picture? It'll mm -hmm. go with your shoes. I'm probably going to send it to you so you can rock with it in the summertime. Here's a red, white, and blue one, though. Oh, that's crazy. You see, that would go with something like this. This My partner got me this for my birthday uh, a while back. And here's that one. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, the, 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 this is also white line, you know. The quarter zip. Oh, so, think. yeah. Here's some of my absolute favorite, Ducati. Oh, uh, yeah. You can't beat this. So, mm -hmm. a lot of it, you cannot beat because they don't make it no more, obviously. So... Here's another velour one. This is so damn soft as Kush. That's crazy. It's insane. Wow. But but when you want to get real silly, then you can uh, start pulling the full fits together. Again, my man Chris in New York helped me complete a cipher because I had the pants. Mm -hmm. I had the shirt. So, oh, pants. Yes. Shirt. Let's forget about it. That's Yeah. When you start going crazy. Then he sent me this. So I come over here on the hat rack. No, he no. sent me the cap. Awesome. And I hadn't peeped one before until he sent it to me. But again, he helped me complete the cipher because then he sent me the jacket. <laughs> So the jacket goes in. Man. But this patchwork on here is nothing to be played with. It's big, bold. I love I mean, that. Yeah, I like big. That picture like, you can't. Stands out. So then, hold on, let me grab something right quick because I got it hanging up in here. I'll be right back. So sorry about that. I had to dip in the other room. You're right. But I wanted to grab the set so I can show you.
I'm about to start going crazy and get it with the black and yellow. Here's the pants. And then if I want to switch it up with the with the pullover like you just showed me, here go a hooded. Oh. And this is the first time I peeped one of these. I, I never seen it with the with the hoodie before. But again, this patchwork, it just goes in. Unfortunately, it don't have a patch like this on the back like the jacket. So that's why I kept hunting yeah, until yeah. I got it. So now cipher complete because here go the jacket. Yeah. So the jacket is insane. I mean, this this work on here is just it ain't nothing to be played with, man. Oh, right. Why? They don't make it anymore. So nah, I man. love it. Yeah, yeah. So there's a few things. I ain't going to go on and on. I mean, right. I could, but I, I don't know what time we're working with. So. I got a question for you. Uh huh. Uh, ages ago, my friend Fracture he gave me a, a present, a feeler jacket, right? Uh, it's it's a, uh -huh. a track, track, track suit jacket, a feeler international one. But he said it's the black. It's it, it's it's black, and it's like you can only like I, I think that was just sold in Italy or something, you know, and uh, or something like that. The and then on the arms it says this. Biella. Yeah. Yeah, the Italian. Yeah, and then the so Italian of yellow. Yeah. Yeah. It, and then, then it's got the blue filler on it filler international on the thing and it's just got that written on the arms, you know what I mean? It's just like it's a, I've never seen anyone rock this. Uh here. I, I haven't seen that jacket before. Well Really? I seen the jacket I seen a jacket similar but not with that badge on the chest. Yeah. So now that you're talking international let me make a quick dash and I'll be right back. I want to show you something. What else we got? This one's for Stealth. Stealth liked the jacket. This My, my partner, Deborah, got me this years ago for my birthday. Stealth. This and then and, and, and obviously the matching tracksuit pants with the zip. You know what I mean? Because when you're playing tennis, you got to look like a gentleman back in the days, you know? Or when you're hitting the... the the floor, the lino, the mat, the concrete, you know, used to break on the concrete. I've shown these anyway. This one I bought. This one, another gift from my lovely fiance, Deborah. <clears throat> and that's about all the feel I got in my house, except for the shoes. This is another pair. Hold on. And while I was in there, I figured I'd grab these because I love them. You oh, can't beat the velour. Oh, no. Nah. And them double patches, they just go silly. Those are the pants, and this the jacket. This the backside. Wow. I just love that big. And anything, like I said, with the double patches, man, I just am drawn to. I love them, yeah. especially the old school patches. So you just talked about that international. Only thing I got two of these jackets in different colorways. One is green, and um, like a blue, and the other one is red and blue. But they're not here. They in storage. But I know this one's here because I ain't rock it yet. So nice. Nice. The blue on there, this, this lighting is not the best, but oh, what makes me love these jackets so much is this. When you zip it down, that international oh, yeah. is written on the inside. That's crazy. So, yeah, that, that jacket or that pullover you just showed, it goes in, but only other one here, I'm going to try to find this. I don't know where it's at. Here, while we're showing off, showing off jackets. Oh, that's, uh, I, I got that. 
Now that box and the write out spell out is pretty sick. Yeah. Lightweight jacket. These same thing. The old big logo Urban Outfitter tried to post some re revamp of this, but it looks trash. So again, I ain't real big on the collabs, but this is a nice little colorway with the yeah, feel like on that. the arm. But yeah, this one too. This is a classic. Kind of oh, match my hat. Yeah. Man. Oh, that's a uh, guy my brother. Right yeah. I don't know. My hat right here, it'll match this. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I love that old classic logo, man. It's just I made it. something terrible. And then this one. I haven't seen anybody rock with this. This is an old Fila Pro. That's sick. So, I mean, I don't know if you can see it well enough, but. Hey, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but it's got the Fila Pro right there, and then it's got it on, written on the, on the sleeve there. So, I mean, this is an old classic right here. Frozen. But, yeah, that's just a few. I mean, a lot of it, they don't, of course, make anything close to this quality. So being able here, I'm going to just lay this crap on the floor because, again, I don't know how I'm going to keep you too much with me. Um, Man, that's so good. Back um, we'll get on the uh, – the key. did you ever see these? My, my partner got me these ages ago. They're comfy as. They're, they're like Fila made their own version of the Roshi. You know what I mean? But I like it because the tongue, it's actually got a tongue on it, you know, and they're just as comfortable. Yeah, see, I, I got a lot of runners because, you know, I'm an older cat and I want cush. So I, I got a lot of the classicals and the ones like this. Oh, yeah, they're crazy. So I got tons of these yeah i mean the grip on these here i got an old school classic pair oh i'm out but i'm gonna show you that okay, but yeah, you can see the difference okay boom come on you can see the difference in the and oh, some let's see some older runners i mean the white is a little dingy because you know when you don't have any glass cases and you be feet with shit on the pavement, then you know it's getting used. Yeah, well, but that's you can see the other day. you can see the difference in what they're making now and something a yeah. few years ago versus this. Yeah. I mean, look at the bottom of this that's versus that. Yeah, you yeah, see yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. just insane. But again. They know we're going to cop it because they're making another one. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's just, it is what it is. I probably got 50 different colorways of those classicals and um, the runners because they, they super cush. But um, I'm not a real big collab guy, but, you know, it's funny. Uh, what started all this, the first pair of feelers I ever got was the original tennis, the T1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was compliments of my oldest sister's boyfriend. He took me off to Northland Mall. Right. You know, they had a hundred, $125 ticket on them. You know, yeah. for a 16-year-old, you know, you had to get to it. And these were the ones right here. Yeah. So, I mean, this is classic. Yes. This was the one, so this what started it all. But um, it's funny because when I was talking to Black and Hop, I was telling them, and I seen him mention that he picked up a pair of Targas that back home in the D, you know, when the D boys was out there, it was the T1. Yeah. But one that trumped that was the Targa, and now he's picking them up for 24 damn dollars. Yeah. At city, city trends. So, 
it's like it just shows you how times vary, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's he's right. Uh, Kicks for life or death. He'll tell you because me and him chopped it up many a day talking about many different places that we done been trying to cop kicks. So, yeah, Northland Mall <laughs> was the spot footlocker out there, man. Uh, and if you wasn't going with the right people, you liable to have a situation on your hands. So I don't know if you got any of these or seen them. Well, I'm sure you have seen them, but I'm going to just grab them real quick and show you the shoe that actually when those cats wanted to basically trump themselves before, you know, they start rocking with Bally's and the Gucci um, low joints, man, of course, who have $450 to put out just for some shit on your feet? You know, unless you was out there living it, you wasn't rocking with no Gucci's on your feet, nor Bally's or any of that. So back home, these targets right here actually had a higher price tag than the T1. Oh. So it's funny now how he's getting them for $24, but the ticket on them back in the day, you know, right. you had to be out there living it in order to cop them. Yeah, but well, the material on, on here and everything, oh, I didn't see that. Uh, my first feel of sneakers from where? Central Station Records. It was my, 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 mate owned this, uh, my mate's friend, my mate Duke, his friend owned, opened up a hip-hop store in the city. And uh, they used to sell a oh, lot. Right on. I think he reached out to me last night, but yeah, he's I good appreciate that. Yeah. So these right here. But this colorway, and the only one that escapes me is the the blue. The blue and the white one. That's the original one. But this green on here, I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's kind of... But that green is silly. I had a velour suit I got from the Fila outlet. And uh, my mate stashed it for me. And then he goes, because he knew my, my doll check was coming the next day. I think it was um, <laughs> Uh, That's yeah, one he, of your partners. Then he was looking out. He stashed. I bought it, man, and wow, I felt like the best. I bought like a ten dollar pair of filler sneakers. Go with it, you know. You couldn't even tell they were ten bucks, like, but they, they were just there for ten dollars, you know. But I always, I always wanted a pair of these, and I got my first pair uh, not long ago uh, on sale for forty dollars. Oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, the F thirteens. Those go in. I yeah. mean, those, they're wow. classic. Yeah. You, you can't go wrong with them. And the second to all of those, which they really called it anywhere in Detroit, if you've seen these on somebody's feet, they was calling them the D-Boy Special because everybody out on the block was busting them down. Yeah. And that's, that's the original fitness. Yeah. That's, that's so killer. That's what they, they called the D-Boy Classic back home. So... And you want to talk about a ten dollar special? Let me show you real quick while I'm on those fitness. Ooh, crazy! Yeah, nice little colorway on that. Here, the all the only other um, aside from the staple and their collab with Jeff and Pink Dolph. I mean, they did some, and I I'm really not a crazy color guy. I try to keep it real tame and low-key. You know, yeah. my wife tells me all the time that I should step outside the box <laughs> and rock some colors. Yeah. You know, but um, the pink Dolph, I like that. I mean, I got a couple mm -hmm. pair of those kicks. I only got two of the quarters and one of the colorways in the cage. But, man, those are clean here. I got a pair right handy. Let me grab one and one so you can see. I got the cages in storage. They ain't here. Unfortunately, that's what it was for uh, hopping black, too. I couldn't go there. Work was uh, absolutely bananas. I mean, as you well know, this year has been pretty crazy for everybody. But, you know, we're trying to get through it. So these are the three-quarter joints. Gum salt. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, thick gummy. Yeah. I like them, but here's the other one, three-quarter, that they did. 
is just insane. That gum bottom, you can't beat that at all. I love them. That's crazy. And and uh, staple. Those were the only other real collab joints that I that I got. I think you've seen a picture of them, but for those that's on that didn't see the picture, I got them handy on the stack too. Here, these still. Actually, I need to put these on feet because they technically dead stock. I got these off Ooh. of eBay. I don't know if you can see that, They're but crazy. that. That material on there is... Oh, you can sort of tell. Yeah, yeah, that's mean. That's a mean shoe. I like that. Yeah. So this was one of the best collabs. I, I love that Fila did with um, Staple, man, and slept on. But I got three different pair of high tops, too, but they're not here. And... I got these them, these two. I mean, just the original fitness. Yeah, they mad. And it's funny because every time I talk to somebody and I start talking crap about Fila and all they damn collabs and everything that they do. They but see, this great one. They nice. Yeah, well, and I still got a sticker on the damn thing. So you yeah. see, they need to get rocked. <laughs> I don't even see it. This is just... That's a mate. That's a shoe. Yeah. I mean, I'll match some of the, some of their stuff quality-wise with any brand. But, you know, uh, again, I get asked that a lot, is why only Fila? It's because, you know, several years ago, I just decided that I'm not going to get caught in a hype. I mean... To each his own, man. If you want to stand out on the side of a building waiting on a damn shoe to drop, yeah, yeah, pitching oh. a fucking tent, you know, have fun doing it. But I ain't gonna do it. Yeah. So, um, I just decided to narrow it down to dealing with only one brand's nonsense, you know. And it's not every thing that they put out that I'm gonna cop. I mean, you will never see me in a pair of disruptors ever. Yeah. So yeah. I think they're garbage. <laughs> but every other damn week, they're putting out a different colorway of them. So, hey, I got one. Yeah, you got the Biggie Smalls. Actually, no, man, I didn't cop those Biggie Smalls because, again, you know, with everybody, it's sad to see that people jump online uh, before you can even add something to the basket and pay for it. They got robots that's copping that shit and it's out of stock. You can't even buy it. Then you got resellers going on eBay. There was 90 damn dollars. But two days later, you see them on eBay for $280? Come on, man. That's not going to happen for me any day of the week. I won't yeah. do it. So that's what it is. I, I went on a rant last time. I probably made their damn head hurt by the time they was done fooling around with me for two and a half hours. But I'm going to try to keep it low key. So if you wanted to ask me anything else, Hoss, my brother, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll be quiet now. <laughs> no, nah, it's all right, man. You just keep on. I already, I already know because of the Hop and uh, Black episode. I, I, I already know the questions. If, if someone in the comments wants to ask a question, go for it. You know what I mean? But if you want, if you want to keep on going, showing shoes, um, go, go hard. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not too many that. Um, you know, some people got to have the next new hype and the end thing. And as soon as the damn Air Force dropped, they all over it. And I got them and I just can't get caught in the hype, man. So, you know, I just decided one brand and that's what I'm a rock with. And that's what it is. So what? a lot of people ask me that all the time. Why? And that's the reason why is because. I'm not a, you know, and I'm not trying to be rude to anybody that feel that they want to do that. But, man, I cannot get it's caught in a hype. Yeah, it's, it's each to the own, you know. And like you said, man, the first mad shoe that you got was the feel a tennis shoe. You know what I mean? From your sister's boyfriend. Right. So of course, it's got a sentimental, the brand has a sentimental value to you. You know what I mean? And, hey. and oh, oh, here we go. Uh, I, mean to, I mean to cut you off, but 
that guy, when you, you get a chance, fly guy, that's my man out of New York. He got some old vintage classic, you know, streetwear that a lot of cats just totally forgot about. It, it'll blow your mind, though, if you end up dressing down in nice, classic gentlemen. Take a look at his page right quick, and, and, and you'll see that he got some vintage fire. But um, how long have I been collecting it? It's been hell. I can't even, man, I lost track of time. I mean, I can go into magnitude. Like, I got over, over 100 damn jackets alone that are designed for snow and outerwear that is insane. But I don't get no snow no more. So have I accumulated stuff over the course of 15 plus 20 years? Yeah, absolutely, I have. And, you know, unfortunately, my mom was a pack rat, so I don't get rid of stuff and I don't sell shit. So, I mean, I give people up, trust me, but... um I've been collecting, well, I wouldn't even say collecting because nothing sits on the hanger for long if it's in my possession. I'm rocking it. Where so, right. yeah. I mean, I've accumulated a lot of stuff over the last 15, 20 years. So, I mean, as you can see behind me, man, this right. is, is some time to accumulate, you know? But... Yeah. That, that's what it is. I'm rocking everything. I'm not having it. Uh, I'll refer to Cali again because he says it all the time. It ain't no damn glass cases in here. Nice. Everything that I got is hitting the street. So, yeah. you know, it's just what it is. I mean, I, I got a lot of stuff, but, you know, when I try to rotate it, keep it fresh, only post it once on IG, but I'll still rock it every damn day of the week. Yeah, yeah. I mean... That's what it is. Who want to see the same damn thing over and over? You know, you just don't want it. I mean, but that's why I do it. It's just fun. I I mean, I'm not doing it for any particular reason other than that's what it is. So, yeah. no, we could. But that, I hope that answered uh, his question. I've been I think it, I think having it, things for over 15, 20 years. And some of these things that I showed even just today is an accumulative of over time but um yeah absolutely brother you you got it hands down compliment is right there oh, yeah, that, i tried to cop stuff as a youth yeah that's right yes of course that's that's a, that's a perfect for instance you know it's now i mean even just here i'm not even talking about the shit i got in storage but a uh, several hundred pairs of kicks inside a townhome type of living, that's a lot of damn shoes. So again, I just reflect back on um, when I was younger, man, having to basically go in a damn bin and try to find a pair of shoes that matched. <laughs> you know, I love my moms to death and that's what she could afford at that time. So that's what it was. Guess what? I had a lot of fights because people used to talk cash shit, but you know, it's what it was. I had to rock them. Yeah, yeah. Like my, my, my parents' next door neighbors, the the first next door neighbors um, to the house, the dad owned a sports store in, in, in a place called Williamstown, you know? And it was like what, how you call it, like a mum and pop store, like sort of, you know? And they had the discount binge. A lot of my came from there, bin, you know? What yes. I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know, well, like, yeah, like the Adidas I wore then in the 80s were like considered old. You know what I mean? <laughs> then, like, so, right. But, but they had the three stripes, and it was like awesome. You know what I mean? Like you were you were pumped. You know what I mean? Like to have anything. You know. It's Good. it's funny too because kicks for life or death just touched on that. And again, when I said that, I feel a lot of time that I'm living in yesteryear because some of the things that and and a reason why I held on to so many things is because I couldn't afford it back then. You know, now, again, like I said, I'm in a different tax bracket. I can get whatever I want. So that's what it is. I, I get it because back then I couldn't. Ever. And I can cop it now, so I'm going to get it if I see it. But a, a lot of times it's I'm not just going to grab something just because. Mm. I mean, 
now just I I love Fila, but just because it got Fila written on it, don't mean that you it's of the quality that I'm looking for. So that's why I'm stuck in yesteryear. Yeah, hundred percent. And he right too. You appreciate shit when you're older versus yeah. younger too. Yeah, that's right. Now I have a cool. lot of stuff that was vintage and would be considered vintage now, but you know, um, I used to be bigger than what I was, am now. Lost weight, gain weight, gave away a lot of shit. I just don't have some of the stuff that I had from back then, but still, it's here. Is this? This thing is not uh, cooperating. Now, let me try to fix this damn little little stand that's coming up. But anyway, yeah, just again, it's a lot of stuff now. They do not have the same type of quality that they did back then. So it's it's rough, but that's why I just narrowed my picks only to one particular brand and deal with a bullshit versus a whole bunch of other brands and all they crap. No, no worries. Man. But as you see, I'll dress my girls. You know, my wife tell me all the time, don't, don't buy them only Fila stuff, <laughs> but they have a variety of different wear that they get all the time. So I'm not going to push that on my kids. If they want to rock something else, I, they will be educated though, that they can rock whatever they prefer wow. not what people think that they should they're not bandwagon riders they can wear whatever they want to wear and whatever. enjoy that whatever she wants you know what i mean like she's it's true a, it's weird and very particular about uh materials and you know what i mean like it's yeah, yeah she's she's cool man she's got a she's got her own unique style you know what i mean I, I, I see her all the time she would make a fabulous co-host now since we family I'm gonna have to send y'all some gifts. So uh, I'm gonna probably send her a watch or something because unfortunately I got three three cases plus about ten loose. So I got three twenty cases on stack. You've seen the picture I posted of the watches. Yeah. So when I throw the head to toe flow on, I, I touch it up with a some wrist wear too. Yeah. So maybe I can send her one because the cat that I originally start copping these watches from his partner had a a jewelry store and he had over 150 damn fila watches all vintage sitting wow. in the back so as he was going through stuff <laughs> i said man i'll buy all of them don't worry about it he said wow are you a reseller i'm like no i'm copping all of them for me yeah well, and i've been doing that so every time he comes through and is sifting through stuff I get some more, so, um, and I only send watches to people that I feel know what time it is, and you yeah. definitely do, so. Thank you, my brother. Thank you for coming on my show as well, man, and uh, God bless to I you. I appreciate you. And uh, all your loved ones, and uh, I hope you enjoy your weekend, Halloween weekend. I know Halloween's big there, and, uh, you know, all the best, and uh, thank you so much for coming on and uh, having a laugh with me. On my show. Hey, I, I appreciate you having me, brother. Like you said, it's been long overdue. I'm glad we were able to do it, and I'll be back on any day of the week for you, and I appreciate you and the show that you do, brother. No worries. Thank you very much, my man. I'll see you. Peace see and you love, up. brother. Peace. All right. Peace. All right. That was my man. That was awesome. Awesome episode. Now I'll get to... um. The shoes after I read that letter from Eddie. Uh, these are big for me, but I wore them anyway. These are the military blues. These are from 2012. So the first time in since 2012, I wore them yesterday outside. So they're sick. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so that's them. I keep the letter because it's it I like the letter. It's a, a nice letter. These are the Concords for my daughter. These are Japanese release. We got them in Japan. Uh these are also two thousand eleven. You know. There's my man Eddie right there. What's up, player? Uh so I can't wait till she wears these. It's funny she said 
uh, it matches uh, some outfit that she has or something, or she can wear it with something already because it's black and white. I can't remember what she was saying, but um, that's them. And finally, oh, my knee, sorry. These. Uh, everyone knows my favorite Jordan is the five. And these are 2011 Independence Day fives. And these have only been worn once, as you can see. It's, it's got mad red speckles in the clear. You know, uh, patent leather, with leather. Where's the leather? The leather's there and up here, just the normal style leather. Not normal leather, but, you know. And uh, this is like... It's hectic, man. Like, I got an old jacket that uh, Marine gave me. It's like a Atlanta Olympics uh, zip ups. I've worn it when my, my episode with uh, Furkin. Mm. This is sick. I always wanted them with the twenty three on the side. These are these are sick. These are mad. But um, the fours. I've never had Jordan fours in my life ever in my life. <laughs> I don't care if they be. I wore, I wore them with big socks yesterday, and uh, I'll get the left one because I'm left-handed. I'll pull out. Always pull out the left, the left shoe. But look at the sole on that. Like, there's not. Do you know what I mean? Like the 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 leather on this is just. It's absolutely insane. And uh, just a, just the letter meant a lot to me as I read it out at the start of the show. And uh, I will wear these with pride as I did yesterday. You know, I wore them to Altona Gate, walked through Kmart, you know, destroying everyone else's sneaker game in the whole store. But uh, thank you, everyone. I got that vintage Jordan 5 t shirt around here somewhere. Man, that's my man Stealth. He's got to come back. We're going to do one. Um, thank you, everyone that watches. Enjoy your weekend. If you're betting on Tuesday, you know, good luck. You know, bet responsibly, as they say on the commercials, but they don't really mean it on the commercials. I really mean it. You know what I'm saying? The commercials, they just have to say that for legal reasons. Me, I'm saying that, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not bullshit. But um, be well and have a good one, man.